Greetings Oracle Database fan. This is Justin and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial I'm going to show you how to pause a PLSQL program while it's executing. Now what is PLSQL? Well PLSQL stands for procedural language slash structured query language and it's and it's spelled like this PL forward slash SQL. Okay and uh, SQL, Structured Query Language, pronounced either SQL or SQL, is the uh, standard for language for communicating and modifying or manipulating, if you will, the data in an RDBMS database product. RDBMS stand for, standing for a uh, Relational Database Management System. The PL part of, P of PLSQL um, <coughs> is the Oracle adds add-ons to SQL to allow the SQL language to be more like a um, higher level programming language, okay, with uh, loops and function calls and um, variables and condition testing with if statements and things like that. Okay, so it's more like a, a, a language, you know, SQL in its purest form is just for manipulating data, so that's just selecting, date, querying data out of uh, the database with a select statement or inserting rows into a table with an insert command or changing um, with an up changing data with an update or you know things things of that nature okay but PLSQL will actually allow you to write full applications okay app full end user applications have been written completely in PLSQL but this is not a PLSQL overview this is um, uh, how to do a certain thing in PLSQL programming and that is how to pause or sleep a program in mid execution and uh, every programming language you work with, high-level programming language, whether it's C, C++, Java, uh, uh, Corn Shell Script, and Bash Shell Script, and Perl, whatever you, whatever your poison is, will have a wet equivalent to do um, to do these things. The PLSQL can do for Oracle. Um, and once you learn one high-level language, it's pretty uh, easy to. Uh, I mean, you still got to learn the other languages, and there may be some learning curves, but um, it's pretty. Um, so it's 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 a it's a pretty uh, small curve to um, move to other languages because the concepts are basically the same, just kind of different commands. Uh, sort of like learning an operating system. Once you learn how to create a user in Solaris, creating a user in AIX or Windows is the same type of concept. You got you just got to get the uh, syntax or the uh, GUI in Windows to click on down. You just have to understand the procedure. Okay, <coughs> now. PLSQL is built into the Oracle database engine. Okay, so you can so uh, it, it's it's code that can be stored in an Oracle database in the uh, data dictionary and can be called and executed at any time. Okay, and uh, to learn more about PLSQL, please check out my PLSQL tutorials out on YouTube. Okay, let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance. Let's ensure we're set properly. And let's connect to our finance database via SQL Plus. Oh, and uh, because I didn't mention, PLSQL is proprietary to Oracle, while SQL is not. It's a standard for all RDBMS products. So I just thought I'd mention that. Now let's type in show user, and we will see we're connected as the SysDBA user. And let's type in select name from V$ sign database to ensure we're connected to the correct database, which we are finance. Okay. Now, I created a table uh, prior to shooting this video called names, and the table is right here in the sys schema. And uh, if we type in this DES, short for describe, the table name names, we will see that we have a table, and the structure of the table is that it has one column, F name, that has the, character, has the data type variable character 2. And if we execute, a, if we query that table, so select asterisk all columns from the uh, names table by doing select asterisk from names we will get back no rows selected because this table has not been populated with any data so let's go ahead and let's show you a um, example of a program that will pause in uh, mid execution and um, all programming languages C high level languages C, C++, Java, Perl, Corn, Bash Shell, uh, Scripton, Python, uh, Ruby, whatever all of them have some, whether they're interpreted or compiled, doesn't matter. All of them have an equivalent to pause and program execution. Okay, it's it's just a stand, it's just different ways of doing it.
uh, depending on what language you're in. So let's create what's called an anonymous PLSQL block. And we do that by type, which anonymous means there's two types of uh, PLSQL code blocks in Oracle. There's anonymous, like we're about to create now, and then there's named. A named PLSQL code block is code that's in a database trigger or it's in a uh, function, procedure, you know, things like that that you can store in the Oracle Data Dictionary and retrieve later. We're not going to store this program, we're, this simple program we're about to write into the Data Dictionary. It's going to be a one-time run. Okay, so every PLSQL program starts with either declare or begin. Uh, we're going to start ours with begin. And that tells Oracle that we're about to uh, write a PLSQL program. Okay, so it's going to give us numbers now until we complete the program, until we close the block and close the entire program, which you're, you'll learn how to do. Okay, so after begin, we're going to put some P, uh, SQL code in our program, in our source code. And our, first S and our first SQL statement is going to insert data into this table. So we're going to type in, just like we would at the SQL prompt, insert into table names values before sleep to signify that this, that, that, that this executed prior to the sleep command. Now we're going to commit what we inserted. Now we're going to call... The, the Oracle supplied PLSQL procedure DBMS lock dot sleep and we're going to pause it for 10 seconds okay and what we're doing here is we're calling the PLSQL package DBMS underscore lock and in that package there's a procedure called sleep and we're going to sleep for 10 seconds okay so anything to when you when you're looking at procedure calls in PLSQL and Oracle Anything to the left of the period is a package, PLSQL package, and anything to the right of the period is the procedure which is contained in that PLSQL package. Okay. Now, after we sleep for 10 seconds, we want to insert another row into our, our names table, and this row will be after sleep. Okay. So, insert into names values before sleep. We're going to have one row of data. We're going to commit that. We're going to sleep for 10 seconds. Then we're going to insert um, another row into our names table called after sleep. Okay. After we insert that, we're going to type, we're going to commit our change again. And we're going to end our PLSQL block, which is begin. Okay. And which is kind of like the main. Uh, procedure call for those of you who are um, familiar with uh, a function call with Java or C okay there's no main call in Perl or shell scripting but there is in Java and C and that's uh, that's what this is that's what begin is basically the equivalent of but instead of putting it to a file and calling the file and stuff this is going to run the program right away because it's an anonymous block now before we run our program we're going to open, we're going to have another DOS window to um, our system here, and we're going to open up another session to our finance database. So we're going to connect to the same database that we that we're connected to in the uh, other window. We're going to execute a show user to ensure we're connected as a sys user, and we're going to select name from the dollar sign database, and we're going to see that we are connected to the finance database. Okay, just like we are up here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to now type in uh, forward slash. And what this forward slash does is it executes the PLSQL program. So the end uh, semicolon ends the begin block. Okay, but slash ends the entire program. Okay, so here we go. Okay, bam, it's executed. If we do a select asterisk from names, we will see that the first row has been inserted before sleep, before sleep. And as you can see, the program is still running. Now it's stopped running because 10 seconds have gone by. Okay, if we do select asterisk from names again, we will see that it now says after sleep. So, we executed a program and the prompt went away, the SQL prompt in this window. We then had a before sleep. Then when it was done executing 10 seconds later, we got the after sleep inserted okay because that's that's so that's how a pause or sleep if you will works in PLSQL 
Now, there are a lot of people who try to prove these pause and sleep. I, I, get, I get this question a lot when helping people code uh, SQL and PLSQL blocks, is they try to code outputs, prints, around sleeps, and they always get the following behavior and it frustrates them. So to do, and again, this is not a PLSQL tutorial video, so don't get bogged down with the details. So we're going to type in set server output on. I do have videos that address all this. And we're going to create another PLSQL anonymous block program. Begin. And we're going to do, instead of insert, we're going to do dvms underscore output dot put underscore line before sleep, like so. So instead of inserting this into a table, we're going to print this out to the screen, standard output. Okay, the PSQL plus screen. And we're going to use DVMS under, the DVMS underscore output package, but we're going to use the put underscore line um, procedure that's in the DVMS underscore output package to do this. Okay, and this is a pretty common procedure call with PLSQL programming. Okay, now we're going now we're going to call the DVMS lock PLSQL uh, package. And we're going to call the sleep procedure that's in that package. Okay, again, dvms underscore lock is the PLSQL package. And to the right of the dot is sleep, which is the PLSQL procedure that's in this package. Okay, and then we're going to have another call to dvms output dot put underscore line after sleep. So that's dvms underscore output dot put underscore line, and that's going to be after sleep. Now, What do we expect to happen here? Well, if I was looking at this for the first time, I would say that, I would surmise that when we run this, we would get before sleep, then our SQL prompt would disappear for 10 seconds, then we'd get after sleep. Let's see if that happens. See what happened? It paused for 10 seconds, and then it said before sleep, after sleep. It didn't print before sleep first, pause, and then do after sleep. It just paused for 10 seconds and then did before sleep, after sleep. The reason why it does this is um, apparently there is a buffer that the DVMS output put line puts all your um, attended output code into. Okay, your before sleep and after sleep. And after PLSQL runs, then it displays what's in the buffer. Okay, so that's what we're seeing. We're seeing behavior there. So, and if anyone out there knows of another way to do something like this or a clever way, I'd you know please post comments. I'd love to hear it. And uh, a follow-up comment to the video would be great to show people how to do that. And uh, I'll post a follow-up video if, if on you know on that comment. But uh, you know, there's this is just a common thing that people do is they try to prove it out, which I would by the way. By printing, printing a line, sleeping, and then printing another line, but they, they never seem to get it to work. They always get the sleep happening first, and then the output. And uh, that happens because of um, what I just told you, that the buffers aren't displayed until after the PLSQL block is executed. Okay? Okay, that's how you pause a PLSQL program in the middle of execution. And, uh, you know, to learn more about PLSQL, check out my PLSQL videos on YouTube.